Hi guys, Daniel Jeffries here with another create a character video for you. If you're new, here's how it works. I take words or character ideas suggested by you in the comments below. Then throw those suggestions into a hat and pull at random to fill in categories that I will then use to draw and create a character. Also, it's worth mentioning that if I like one of your suggestions enough, I may just go ahead and start drawing it. I won't even do the random pull. For today's video, I'm doing a fantasy-themed human who's a wizard thief who uses a staff and books and is shifty and full of himself. Right off the bat, I knew that I wanted to make this character seem just by how he was standing that he was a guy who, who just thought of the world of himself and I was gonna make him look shiftier as time went on. As I was drawing, I was trying to come up with a backstory for this guy and I figured he came from a college of mages and was kicked out because he was stealing and selling precious artifacts to these masters and they were just like, get out of here. So he went and joined a group of thieves and ended up being their only mage and kind of became a very important asset to them. And it's important to have a story or some kind of meaning for a character because that meant that now I could take things from that story and implement it into his character design. I was able to, I, maybe this guy was still proud that he was a mage so he kept his top layer looking very magely, but his under layer, his more tight clothing would resemble that of a thief and that his robes would be a little tattered because he wore them still, but he was doing some shady stuff, so they were just getting damaged over time. Now, I was feeling that his head was looking a little too clean and pristine, and it just wasn't looking very interesting, so I tried to experiment by giving him a little bit of a hat here, and later on I realized maybe a mask and a hood, but I ended up going back and just changing his hair because it did look a little too clean. This was a little bit of a new experience for me because I was trying to do color mapping as my method for coloring here. Usually I'll do a multiply layer and color on top of the line work, but this time I was trying to do some shading in the black and whites and color map it so that I could save a little bit of time and also learn a new technique. This whole time I was trying to think of this character as somebody who you would want to have on your team because he would be a great member to have but at the same time, you knew you couldn't trust this guy. He would probably take all your stuff and leave after uh, you ended up in a trap or something in a dungeon. I'm imagining like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of theme going on with this. The runes that he has on his books and the glyphs that he uses, I made from the words that they derive from. So fire, air, blades, all these different things I write out and I changed around the position of each individual letter to make a glyph. It looks like a different language, but it's not. It's just something that I was having fun with. It's a fun little idea. Typically, when you think about a wizard, you think of a staff and books, which I recovered in this drawing. However, the thief element, typically you think about knives or some other small object that they can kill their enemies with stealthily. And so the cool thing that I thought about doing with this character was because he's a mage, rather than having a knife on him, he would conjure one and he would use these knives that would like float around him whenever he needed them. So we're pretty much wrapping up here on this create a character design. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I hope that you enjoyed it. As a fun little bonus, I decided to animate this character as if he were in a mobile game, and I had a lot of fun doing that too, so I'm probably going to do that in these create a character videos from now on going forward. If you like this video, let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe, you know, the usual stuff. Check out some of my other videos, and I hope to see you in the next one. This has been Daniel Jeffries. Have a good one.